In the age of Iron Twins, energy has become more precious than ever. Costing nearly an entire refill to farm all six keys each day, it's now significantly harder to farm gear, masteries, and food for your next six star. So in this video, we'll be covering five ways to maximize your resource efficiency to help make up for what's been spent farming Iron Twins. Let's start with the sparring pit. This seems to be one of the most contentious and debated topics in terms of whether or not it's worth the investment. And I think that's fair. The sparring pit's value skills based off of how active you are in the game. If you log in periodically throughout the day, checking for arena freshes on Classic and Tag, play long enough to complete all your daily and advanced quests as well as collect all the playtime rewards and spend all your daily resources each day, the sparring pit will absolutely be worth it to you. But if you only log in once a day and play for maybe 30 minutes, it's take a very long time for the sparring pit to pay for itself. Last week, I put five level one three-star champions in the pit. We'll ignore one of them because everyone gets the first slot for free. We're only going to be looking at the value generated by the four unlockable slots since they have to be bought with gems. So these four three-star champions took from Monday to Friday to level from 1 to 30. To level three champions from 1 to 30 and 12-3 brutal, it takes 24 runs. But it only takes 23 runs of 12-6, so we'll go off that since people only farm 12-3 if they're trying to optimize their silver acquisition. So 23 runs of 12-6 at 8 energy per run costs a total of 184 energy. And because we're leveling 3 champions this way, it costs 61.3 energy per champion. So we take the 61.3 per champion and multiply by 4 to represent our 4 sparring pit slots. And that gives us a total of 245.2 energy worth of XP. Then we take that value divided by 130, the amount of energy in a refill, and we'll get 1.88 refills every 5 days. And we know each energy refill is worth 40 gems, so if we multiply 1.88 by 40, we get 75.2 gems worth of XP. 75.2 divided over 5 days is 15.04 gems in value per day, which is actually slightly more than the gem mine. But here's the real kicker, the sparring pit only costs 1200 gems to unlock. The gem mine costs 1500 and it generates 15 gems a day. It takes 100 days for it to pay for itself and it is universally accepted that the gem mine is 100% worth investing in. At 15.04 gems a day and only costing 1200 gems to unlock, the sparring pit will only take about 80 days to pay for itself if you're an active player. Based on these numbers, I would highly recommend unlocking the sparring pit. But ultimately, the choice is yours, and you're the only one who knows exactly how much you play every day, so you'll have to make your own evaluation. But next time you go to put a fresh food champ in the sparring pit, use a 3 star and track how many days it takes you to get it to level 30. If it takes you less than a week, I would invest, because at that rate, it'll still break even in around the same time as a gem mine. Now, with all that said, in my opinion, it is not worth upgrading. To upgrade costs about 115% of the original cost, but rather than gaining 115% more XP, you only gain about 50% more of the XP. To me, that's just a big waste. Tip number two. Now, this might be a little obvious to some of you, but I know there are players out there who do this. I know because I used to be one of them. Don't spend energy leveling one-star champions in campaign. It's not worth it. To convert enough 1-star champions and do enough food to make 5 5-star five food champions, it takes 2,400 energy, and that's just to get them to level 10 so you could rank them up into 2-stars. In my opinion, it's significantly more efficient to rank your 1-star champions up in the tavern by using one affinity appropriate XP brew and three other 1-star champions. Tip number 3 is what I call dynamic farming. It is widely known that farming level 12, stage 3 of Brutal Campaign is the best place to farm food if you want the best balance of XP per run and silver. But after 9 runs, it won't take a full run of 12-3 to get your 2 stars to level 20. If you want to save 4 energy per batch, you can actually do 1 run of 12-3 on normal to finish them off once they hit level 19. This method will save you about 134 energy every time you make a 6 star. And that's assuming you're 6-starring a legendary. It saves you even more depending on how low the starting star rank of your next 6-star is. If you're 6-starring an Armager, for example, it'll save you closer to 160 energy. And to farm 3-star champions, do 11 runs of 12-3 Brutal. This will get them to level 23. And at that point, switch to 12-6 until they're level 30. 
This will take 12 runs versus the 13 more you would have had to run on 12-3. This saves you 8 energy per batch of 3 stars, which will save you 80 energy per 6 star. That's enough to make a whole other batch of 3 star food from 2 star champions. And who doesn't want 3 free 3 star chickens? And to level up your 4 stars to 40, just put them in the sparring pit. Leveling 5 4 star champions from 1 to 40 in the sparring pit will save you about 694 energy. To level my 5 star to 50 who will become my next 6 star, I just brew them to 50 and feed them the 5 5 star food champs we just made in the sparring pit. But once they're 6 star, that's where the next tip comes into play. Tip number 4, Solo Minotaur. To buy a champion's masteries, it takes 800 gems. To farm them out in Minotaur, it takes about 155 runs at 14 energy apiece. So to buy the energy you need and then farm them manually, it would cost you about 640 gems. In addition, you'll earn about 1.5 million silver along the way, as well as XP for the champion you're farming masteries for. So if you have a champion with full masteries who can solo Minotaur, run your fresh 6 star through until their masteries are complete, and by the time they're finished they'll be around level 53. And then from there, you can just let them gain passive XP from being in your dungeon team until they hit level 60. And for tip number 5, it's food farming in dungeons. In the same vein, full on food farming in dungeons is also a great method to optimize your energy. I just did a whole video showcasing Walking Tomb Drang soloing multiple high level dungeons. For a more in depth look at his build, be sure to check out that video, I'll link to it at the end. But the advantage of building a champion who can solo dungeons is, it allows you to farm food and gear at the same time. And even if you don't have a champion who can solo the dungeons, finding two champions who can duo dungeons together still greatly increases your energy efficiency when farming gear. Here we have Drexlar Bloodtwin, a free legendary obtained through the bazaar from winning battles in Tag Arena, and Sill of the Drakes, a free login reward champion that's earned after playing for 6 months. Together they can easily duo Dragon 20. The only thing you compromise is the amount of time it takes you to complete the dungeon. However, if you're in the game longer every day, you're more likely to get the maximum value out of your sparring pit. See how I tied it all together there at the end? Thank you so much for watching everyone. I had a lot of fun putting this together. If you found this guide helpful, consider leaving a like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. It goes a long ways towards helping my channel grow, and I've got new videos coming every week. So thanks again for watching everyone, and until next time, happy raiding.